My name is Fadi Mahmoud. I'm a medical oncologist and I'm as the associate program director at the T.W. Lewis Melanoma Center of Excellence at the Banner MD Anderson in Gilbert, Arizona. My main interest is uh, treating people and patients with melanoma. And in regard to our approved abstract, uh, it was about uh, patients with clinically positive uh, disease, meaning patients with melanoma who presented with an enlarged uh, lymph node or a disease that was seen on imaging. Um, and it should be at least one centimeter in size, uh, either a palpable lymph node or a lymph node detected on imaging. We gave these people neoadjuvant treatment, ipilimumab one milligram per kilogram and nivolumab three milligram per kilogram for at least one cycle. Most of our patients in the study got two cycles. And um, uh, in order to be eligible for the study, you need at least one cycle. So in our study, 66% of the people who received neoadjuvant dual immunotherapy, at least one cycle of ipilimumab and nivolumab, achieved a 66% uh, complete pathologic response. Um, and there has been a discrepancy between a a, a, a pathologic response and radiologic response, only 28% of our people in the study achieved a, a, a complete radiologic response. Uh, so I think uh, neoadjuvant immunotherapy, we're seeing a high response rate. And with the results of the Nadina trial that came out just uh, today, uh, June 2nd, uh, I think uh, neoadjuvant immunotherapy for people with uh, a clinically positive disease uh, this trial will change the standard of care and it will become a practice change uh, in the United States. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.